Okay, in this video we're looking at first order integrated rate law uh, half-life problems. So here what I've done is I've written the first order integrated rate law here um, in one way and then just rearranged it to another way. Kind of depending on what you're doing will decide which one you want to use. In this case what we're looking for is we're looking for the half-life. We're going to be specifically looking for t at one half so the bottom one here will be the better option. Alright, so let's get started. Let's say we have some some species here called A and let's say it starts with Again, let's say 0 0.2 uh, moles per liter. Okay, uh, let's give it a k value of, let's say, 7.3 times 10 to the negative 4 uh, per second, because this is a first order uh, problem, so this is the units definitely for k. All right, so what we're doing here is we're looking for the half-life, and uh, now the only thing left here is we need to know the concentration after one half-life, and obviously that's just going to be, well, it's going to be the initial concentration divided by 2. So we can fill that in and say, well, that will be 0 0.1 molar. All right, well, now we have all the information we need, so let's just plug everything into the, the integrated rate law here, and we'll get, we'll take the ln of A at T, which is 0 0.1, um, over A at 0, which is 0 0.2. All right, we can close that up, and that's equal to negative... Uh, what do we have here? 7.3 times 10 to the negative 4 per second. Uh, that's a 4. It doesn't really look like 1. Uh, and this is going to be times our half-life, t at 1 half. Okay, cool. So first of all, 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.2, uh, we know this is just um, going to be equal to 0 0.5. So we're going to take the ln of 0 0.5, type that in your calculator, and you're going to get negative... 0.69. Okay, that's just the ln of 0.5. Now what we can do is we can divide both sides by the k value, so over negative 7.3, what do we have times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, and this is going to be equal to, this is actually um, per second, so then we have this is equal to our half-life, or t at one half. Okay, perfect. So now what we do, if we just divide this, uh, zero, negative 0 0.69 divided by negative 7.3 times 10 to the negative 4, punch that in your calculator, and we're going to get out uh, about 945 seconds. So that's our half-life uh, for this uh, this decomposition here from 0 0.2 molar to 0 0.1 molar. But we just talked about in the zero order integrated rate law problems that the half-lives were... Um, getting twice as fast as they went on. So let's try and see what happens here. So we'll now take the half-life using this value here, and we're going to see if the time changes. So we can just fill this in here. This will become our new a naught, uh, which is going to be equal to 0 0.1 molar. And I guess, well, a at t, then we're going to see it will be 0 0.05, because we want half of that. And everything else will be the same, or the k value. You just don't want to write that in again. So what we're going to do is we'll just plug in the same things now, or the new values, I guess. So we have ln, uh, so we have concentration at A at T, which is 0 0.05 molar, um, over A naught, which is in this situation is 0 0.1 molar. And then this is, again, going to be equal to, um, well, I don't really want to write this in. We can just say negative K T, because it's the same values. Uh, it just takes a while to write in. So anyways, 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.1 actually check this out it is also 0 0.5 so what we're doing here is this is going to be looking exactly the same now so we have the ln of 0 0.5 again is going to be equal to negative 0 0.69 and then we have the same k value on the bottom you know what it is it's right here uh, is equal to our half-life t at one half and so we can see that this is exactly the same problem, so our second half-life here is also going to be equal to 945 seconds. Good to know, because in first-order integrated rate law problems, the half-life is always going to be the same. It's just a linear decomposition.